Is Kelly Kumalo under arrest for giving wrong statement to the police about the murder of late Robert Senzo Meiwa when there is a new confession inside the court saying that she's the one who ordered the hitman to kill Senzo Meiwa. Guys, how do you feel about this new confession that we are listening inside the Pretoria High Court? Imagine after 10 good years, you finding out that it is her who actually ordered the hitman to eliminate Robert Senzo Meiwa. Hello everyone, welcome to Coolbirds TV, welcome back to another video. In this video today, I want us to focus a little bit about what has been happening in the late Robert Senzo Meiwa murder case in Pretoria, which has been taking place for some times now. And each and every time we switch on our TV, we are seeing some new revelations which are coming up inside the Pretoria Magistrate High Court. And this time, the name of South African celebrity Kelly Kumalo, she's being again mentioned inside this Pretoria Magistrate Court. Among the witnesses who have stand so far inside the Pretoria Magistrate High Court, this time we are talking about Brigadier Bongani, who had to read out a statement which came from one of the accused. And in this statement, the accused made a confession saying that he was ordered by Kelly Kumalo. Through this same statement, it reveals also on how the uh, phone numbers which Kelly Kumal was using back then, the message and the WhatsApp message which was found through these uh, cell phone numbers, it has the message which linked Kelly Kumalu having conversation with the two of the accused. Wow, guys, this was a bomb show in this 10 years case that has been taking place inside the Pretoria High Court. Brigadier Bongen Kaninde said to the court that in this statement, it mentioned that two of the accused who attended inside that court, they had pointed fingers at Kelly Kumalo, saying that she ordered them as the hitman and they was in conversation with uh, Kelly Kumalo. Without delay, let us have first listen to what Brigadier Kaninda had to say earlier on. The accused was further linked with circumstantial evidence wherein he, where, wherein he minutes after the incident, made disclosures and remarks at a family gathering he attended in Fosterus as to the killing of Senzo even before the death was reported in the media. He is further linked by means of a formal confession he made to the commissioned independent officer on the 30th of May 2020. In this confession, he clearly implicates Ms. Kelly Kumalo as the person who gave them the instruction to kill Senzo Meiwa. According to this same statement, it was not only number one accused who fingered the singer Kelly Kumalo as being linked to this uh, Senzo Meiwa murder case, but accused number two, Bongani Tanzi, who added also to say that it was Kelly Kumalo who ordered the hit to kill Senzo Meiwa. Let us have listen to this particular part. The suspect indicated his eagerness to confess as to his involvement in the matter. The suspect made a commission to a commissioned officer on the 19th of June 2020 and later made a further confession in the presence of his attorney uh, to a magistrate in Boxback Magistrate Court on the 24th of June 2020. Through the confession, does it appear that this suspect is the suspect that was described as tall, slender built, which came into the house? He also implicates Ms. Kelly Kumalo as the person who gave the order to kill Senzo Mayu. Brigadier Bongani Kaninde said that in this statement, there is also a report which proves and shows how the cell phone numbers which Kelly Kumalo had back then it was linked to the one of accused number three and number four they were having a conversations and i believe you guys remember when this trial started the advocate tefo malisela have also mentioned about this cell phone link which shows the conversation that kelly kumal was having between him 
we, we accused number three and number four which shows that there were even some pictures and still again in this same statement brigadier uh, bongani had to explain to the court that uh, they find out the conversation between keli kumalo with a sister zandil kumalo which shows the conversation which keli kumalo was having with a young sister zandil kumalo and she was busy telling her how much she hates senzo meyua because of some reasons that she did not really reveal in that conversation but she kind of like telling her sister that she's looking forward to see on how she can get rid of him get rid of him in which way physically or just breaking up with uh, their relationship that is something i believe only keli kumalo will have to come and tell the court as soon as possible but i want you first to have a listen to what brigadier kanin they have to say about this four cell phone numbers that she did not disclose to the police when this incident took place these numbers were discovered by the XDS system used by the cell phone analyst and subsequently linked to her activities. The numbers are as follows 079 073-451-5017, 073-8867-30, 061-456-2108. Investigation further revealed that she is linked to the actual perpetrators of this murder by means of cell phone linkages. These linkages connect her to accused three and five. There is no reasonable explanation as to why Kelly Kumalo will be in contact telephonically with the headman or killers of her boyfriend and share the same picture of a bag full of money. Communication records between her and her sister shows that as early as 2013, she wanted to get rid of the deceased as she puts it. It is apparently clear that she hated him and wanted to get rid of him. She further states that she regrets not succeeding to get rid of him before. Taking into account all these facts, an inference can be drawn that she meant killing him. Again here, in this statement that Brigadier Kaninde was explaining or reading to the court, you understand very well that they end up discovering four numbers four different numbers which was used before that incident took place before Senzo Meyua was killed and these cell phone numbers as they try to verify or follow which uh, who was the owner under which names it was figured they end up finding out that it was uh, uh, the phones uh, cell phone numbers which belongs to Kelly Kumalo and she did not disclose this to the police she did not tell the police about this these are the things that the police end up discovering on their own but was that all? No. Because through these cell phone numbers, they end up now discovering on how it, she was linked in a conversation with different people. And they have to go through the WhatsApp message and they end up discovering something very crucial, something very important that just changed everything in this Senzo Mewa uh, murder case. And that is the picture of money. The picture of money that they found in uh, one of the conversations which uh, was having the number of uh, Kelly Kumalo, they find it that, uh, that same picture in the uh, conversations or in the chat of one of the accused and here we're talking about accused number three. The same picture of money that Kelly Kumalo had, they find it also in the cell phone number of uh, accused number three. Let us have listened to that part. The cell phone downloads of this cell phone were done. Photos found on his cell phone memory showed him wearing the same clothing that were identified by witnesses on the day of the incident as the accused carrying the revolver entering the house. Photos downloaded taken of the accused photos downloaded taken of the accused by him selfies during the day of the of the 26 October 2014 matched the description of the suspect who had the firearm with red locks, big eyes and with gold teeth. This is the suspect that went into the house and made a demand for cell phone and money. He, he is also the same suspect that shot the deceased in this matter during the struggle with him. Evidence confirms that he is Zulu speaking. In fact, all accused in this matter are Zulu speaking and known and knows each other. Photos were equally found 
um, of the murder, murder weapon used in the murder of Senzo Meiwa, a photo containing the exact bag of money similar to the one found in Ms. Kelly Kumalo's, Ms. Kelly Kumalo was found. Wow, this must be a bomb show. Hmm. This must be a bomb show because one question myself I'm still asking until now is how possible, how could it be that the same picture of money, the amount of money, we're talking about a lot of money, which was found in Kelly Kumalo's cell phone chat, uh, chat conversation, is the same one they end up finding in the cell phone of one of the accused. What the consequences can be that? I'll leave that as a question. But guys, you know, now that things have reached to this point, what can we expect from Kelly Kumalo now? Because I remember the last time Kelly Kumalo held an interview. It was about a year ago. She never wanted to talk much about these uh, things of uh, the, the murder case of uh, Robert Senzo Meiwa. And when she was given a chance for her to speak out, well, Kelly Kumalo, she spoke. When Kelly Kumalo decided to speak out, the only thing she had to tell everyone out was about a life. She believed that a life is in danger. And she'd been saying that she wanted a day inside the Pretoria Magistrate I Court so that she can get to tell a side of story. And she did spoke about quite a lot of things, but here are the key points. We have a problem in our country. And this is not just about Kili Kumalo as the musician, but this is about an individual in the pits and darkest place of wherever it is, where they lose loved ones and justice is not served. And I once, um, you know, said something about this in, in my Instagram page. And to my surprise, I had a lot of people who were saying, Kelly, we support and agree with you because we are some of the South African citizens that have been robbed of justice in this country simply because for some reason the law is not playing the part that is supposed to play. And that's what every South African is going through right now, Sli. What is quite interesting about all this is for the fact that if you look at her or listening to her in this interview that she had with journalist, you will see that she look more quiet. Yes, more calm, more cool. Is that mean that she don't have anything to do with all this? All these things that they are being said inside the Pretoria Magistrate Court about her. Is it mean that she don't have anything to say about it? We'll find out. But she looked more quiet and more calm because she was trying to pass a message out. She also complained about the injustice that people are suffering in this country. She accused the justice system to be delayed because the fact that they keep on delaying as she's suffering, she said that a family, they are all traumatized by all this scenario and that is too much because she wants this case to be done once for all. Looking at it, do you think this case will finish good in a favor or is it a case that will can come and destroy a career? We'll find out. Kelly Kumalo said that a life is now threatened. She's been receiving a lot of threatened since day one when Senzo Meo was killed. She's been receiving a lot of threat. A sister said the same thing. She said that the whole family, they are suffering from all this. They are receiving some anonymous message from different people threatening them, saying that no, they will eliminate them. Well, till now, that have not happened, isn't it? She's still walking freely. She's still performing in the concert and come again to think of it. I think if she, if people wanted to eliminate her, they'll have done so a long time ago. Don't you think so? Let's just leave that for now. But in this same case, we have people, almost everyone, whether you are def uh, the defense lawyer, whether you are the, the, the state lawyers, everyone who are represented in this court, they are all saying that their life is in danger. Even the accused, they are saying that our life it is in, in risk 
someone want to eliminate us someone want to kill us everyone they are afraid so now my question is who's threatening who because if Kelly Kumar she said that a life is in danger, the accused said that their life is in danger. The, 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 the witness who are appearing inside the court are saying that their life is in danger. The lawyers who are representing this defense uh, def, uh, accused, they are saying their life is in danger. Including the state advocate is also saying that his life is in danger. Who's telling the truth and who's lying? Let us first have a listen to what Kelly Kumar have to say about a safety. What has happened to me? I've had my life threatened. I have my family threatened, not once, but multiple times. And I feel like the law is not coming into place to protect and make me feel that, you know what, it is within my right to have protection, not only for myself, but also for my family. Again, as I said earlier on, Kelly Kumarish never want to disclose or talk much about what had really happened in that house since the moment when Senzo Meiwa was killed. She never want to discuss much about it. But through this interview that she gave about a year ago to one of the local TV channel, well, that was a good opportunity for her at least to open up and speak out and tell people because sometimes people they might judge you wrong all because they never heard your side of story so they rather prefer to hear from you before they start seeing you as that wicked person before they start considering if like you have something to hide about all this and through that interview everyone was expecting Kelly Kumalo for an example to come forward and tell people who've been threatening her who want to kill her who wanted to eliminate a family and for what reason that they would love to do so but unfortunately she did not want to disclose all those information instead she told the journalist to follow or watch a, a, a show that she was busy uh, uh, launching on that special day and as you all know that she's been having a local show or shall I say a series a TV series that she usually launch and do about I mean say things about a life now my question is why would you prefer to only want people to know your side of story through your uh, TV show and not on the uh, local channel that have come to interview you don't you think that that was another strategy of uh, calling or having more clients you know when you are marketing a product that you have worked for and you want to make money out of it then you promoting it and you inviting people like no look i can't discuss this about i mean i can't discuss this with you out here i prefer you to come to my place I prefer you to come to my office so you kind of like promoting and here these are the kind of things that can also make some people out there not to trust or believe in what she have to say because you can tell already that a intention was for her to make money do you understand it is it was for her to make money through a, a, a TV show that she's been promoting and she want people to go and buy or watch it even more but how would you like to make money on something that you know it has left many heart broken? Many people are still crying up today about the maid, I mean, the, the, the maid of uh, Senzo Meiwa. His family, the poor guy, he lost his father. Obviously, it's through the stress of losing a son. The mother, we can't even imagine what she's going through, especially seeing whatever is happening inside that magistrate court. What about Senzo Meiwa fans? Because we all know that Senzo Meiwa was a football uh, player. He played for Bafana Bafana, he played for Orlando Pirates, and he have a lot of fun around the world. What about all these people who deserve at least to know of what have really happened in that house? And some people, they are now taking this case as an opportunity for them to make money. You guys still remember what happened? The, the, the Netflix series about Senzo Meiwa, how we saw his close friends, they have to go and sell pictures over there, they have to go and give their interview. Even Kendi Kumalo, there were some rumors which is regulate on how they offer him about, they offer her about 6 million rand in order for her to participate in that Senzo Meiwa series. And that Senzo Meiwa series is still existing. It is somewhere, seated somewhere. It's just that they don't want to release it right now because of what is happening inside uh, the Pretoria High Court 
but sooner or later you guys will receive some emails in your um, uh, your devices telling you that no netflix have uh, released a new series called by the name of uh, uh, robert senzo mayor so you see that instead of us trying to find out what has really happened to senzo mayor we actually seen some people taking the name of senzo mayor the maid of senzo mayor as an opportunity for them to make money we saw that with many people doing so so we hope that justice will take place and now that the name of Kelly Kumalo is being mentioned among the confession that some of the accused they had made my question again is still to know why they did not arrest Kelly Kumalo immediately when this confession was made why Kelly Kumalo have to walk free all these days so you can tell already that something fishy is going on here this case there's many people who are in, involved in it and there's a lot of money which is circulating and there is a lot of money which has been circulating around in order for them to protect some people and sacrifice other people so it's just a matter of time we don't want to comment much in behalf of the justice but we trust in this same justice we hope that the true killer of Senzo Meua will come and respond for their crime. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video until now. It was very important that we come here and try to engage ourselves in a conversation about this uh, trending matter that is happening right now in the country about the murder of Robert Senzo Meua, who was well known as a football player. He did a good job during his career and we all deserve to know at least what did happen to him. So if you find anything uh, beneficial and you would like to find more about us or maybe you want us to talk again about what will be happening in this Pretoria Magistrate Court about this same case, well, drop down your comment in the comment section. We'll have a look on it because uh, we will see if you guys you want us to talk more about this, then we'll come back and make another video about it where we'll be giving you our analysis but above all don't leave this video without you giving us your thumbs up because we we'll really do appreciate you liking this video in your numbers and if you want to join this big family of cool bus tv feel free because you are more than welcome to do so hit that subscribe button right now subscribe to the channel so that whenever we're here live you'll be able to join this big family thank you so much that will be all for now but for now continue to be yourself be good be kind run out of trouble because we still need you we don't want you to be in trouble with the justice of your country may god bless you all until we see you again ciao ciao